Hi, um, my name is Jennifer and I am um, American Majority's Minnesota um, State Office um, Executive Director. And today um, I do this series every so often, it's called Jen on the Road. And today I thought I would do a Jen on the Road from my home office and talk about why it is important for you um, to start early if you're thinking of running for office, if you're considering running for office or you know you're running for office. Um, I just want to go through a couple key points um, that I hope will be informative to you um, in whatever stage you are about why you shouldn't wait and you should start now. Well, a lot of times people see the election calendar and they think, oh, I've got months to start. I don't need to do anything. I'm just going to hang out and start my campaign after I file. Well, that may be um, great if you uh, aren't 100% sure you want to win. But if you want to win, it's really important to start now. And there's a few reasons for that. Number one, starting early gives you the time to do the research and the education and the windshield tour that you need um, to do in your district. You might want to do a cursory drive through the different areas and the different precincts and kind of really understand what exactly is going on in your community. Um, is there a lot of residential homes that are experiencing a lot of turnover? Have has certain communities aged more quickly than others? Um, are just there are some things that you need to kind of look for, uh, look around and look and see. Um, it also gives you time, um, number one, to develop your campaign message or your theme of whatever your campaign is going to be, but kind of test it out. I like to do these uh, listening tours, and I'm putting air quotes on that. Um, for example, like you might go out and to the different functions, whether it's community festivals or door knocking or community events and talk to your neighbors. See if the things that they're talking about are the things that you want to talk about um, in your campaign. For example, it, you may be passionate about bees, just picking on the poor bees, but you may be passionate about bee pollen pollinization and whether or not bees will survive for the next hundred years. Very important topic. Your neighbors may not care at all. So if you built your whole campaign around that issue, you're gonna struggle when you go door knock and seek support because your things that you're passionate about may not be what your, um, your neighborhood is. So really understanding and doing that listening tour or, and really going out and testing your message and having those um, authentic conversations is super important. It also, um, starting early gives you a time to reset, right? So you may not, um, you may be passionate about the bees, but you may find out that the individuals in your area might care about parks and they may care about um, their local community park in their area and they want it redeveloped or cleaned up. Well, wonderful, right? You can take what you're passionate about, meld it into what the community is interested in talking about and merge the two issues together to make your message more effective and more impactful for the people who are who are going to vote on election day. You can also spend a lot of time if you start early quietly voter IDing again like I said attending community events building authentic relationships with people um, that you may call on later for help. If you start just during the campaign season, people are sophisticated now enough to know when someone's campaigning or whether they're really um, trying to build a real relationship. So starting early kind of takes that kind of question off the table. You can also, um, if you start early, you can spend some time doing a deep dive into the research in your district. You can figure out how many um, individuals in your area might voter ID early. You might want to start talking to them a little sooner than you would anticipate. Um, or um, how many people vote absentee versus early at the door. Um, you just really have a time is your biggest advantage. It also gives you a lot of time to raise money um, and gets you time to build a little war chest um, before everyone's asking for money. One of um, my old political mentors told me there's a lot of things in campaign life that there's infinite of, right? You can always find more volunteers. You can always raise more money. There's always doors to knock and people to talk to, et cetera, et cetera. But the only thing in politics that is absolutely finite, where there's only so much of and there's an end date to, is time, right? 
once you gave up that time um, by sitting in your backyard, enjoying a fire pit, eating marshmallows, not out campaigning or working, it is gone. So starting early gives you the biggest advantage because it gives you the time to develop a plan, work the plan, revisit it if you need to, and then hopefully if you worked the plan and executed it well and worked your heart out the entire time to win ultimately on election day. So anyway, so thank you very much. Um, hope all is well wherever you are. And um, that's it from this edition of Jen on the Road, American Majority. Thank you. Bye.